got some brand new MDP intake piping, all powder coated to match the suspension. And we got a 66 millimeter turbo down in the valley. It should spool amazing now on the stock fuel. It was just a little bit too much turbo during the duration of this giveaway. So we got you all fixed up. Now this truck is 110% perfect. You can hook this thing up to any trailer and it will haul it. This thing sounds amazing, looks amazing, is amazing, and it could be yours. This is the final call, your last chance to get on to win the beautiful silver bullet. It's my 2016 F250 Lariat. It's got a 14 inch PMF lift with power coated axles and coilovers in the front. 28 by 16 JTX forged wheels wrapped in 38 1650 Fury tires. Underneath the hood, it's got a beautiful big turbo setup with custom intake piping, full exhaust, five inch straight pipe all the way back to a 10 inch tip. Sounds amazing. Beautiful custom headlights and taillights, tons of color match, big ass cowl hood. Inside, we got a full leather interior, iPad dash and a starlight headliner, rock lights, train horns, and so much more. And it could be yours. This truck is going to be in somebody else's driveway next week. And I can't wait to see who it's gonna be. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today, but act fast because you guys only have 48 hours left to get entered to win this truck before it's gone forever. Thank you to everybody that entered. Good luck to everybody. Enjoy the rest of the video. So last night, in the middle of the night, we got a uh, delivery and it's not for me. No, it's not a new supercar. No, it's not another fourth gen or GMC Denali. That is a gasser. <laughs> now who has a gasser? I would never buy one unless it's a twin turbo R8. Do, do you have a gasser? No. I don't own one of those. No, no definitely not with no, twin turbo sticking that's out the hood. That's so poverty. Oh, speaking of. So last night, the truck got delivered. Fancy Silverado that uh, Abby has had for a very, very long time. It's been in Florida for the past like, eh, couple months. Five months later, Hotshot driver kind of forgot the keys last night at his house. So he had to go all the way home and grab them. My bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you got them now though. Yeah, got them now, so we're good. Ooh. Here you go. Ah! I can start it. You can start it, if, it, if it'll if it start. I don't know if it's gonna start. We gotta put the, we gotta take the bags off the turbo. Kyle Hurt down in Florida, he put twin turbos on her truck and it's 5'3". It's got cam now, it's supposed to sound amazing, it's supposed to shoot flames. Plastic bags must come off so you don't cause a fire. I forgot it was this big. <laughs> it is kind of big. Wanna pop the hood? Damn. Zip ties and, and trash bags. Well, you know, securement. Yes. Wow. Sick. That's a lot of, yes. Trying, trying to do it oh, right. Oh, whoa, 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 there's a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> to do it right, this guy dude. came prepared. Gotta get a razor. <laughs> whoa, they're definitely red. Don't judge how dirty the truck is. No, it's okay. The turbos are so clean, it makes up for how dirty the truck is. Yeah, it, it needs a good little, it needed a detail before it left. Oh, it did, like so bad. Yeah. You should... <laughs> Last time we saw this truck, you were living in a one bedroom. It was a two bedroom oh, cabin bad. in the one woods. And a, one and a half cabin in the woods. And nice. now we have yeah. that. So you don't have to drive through mud every day to get to your driveway. I know. Actually, my trucks were so big, I didn't even like barely fit to the back of the cabin. Sheesh. Will it fit in the garage? Yeah. Probably not. It might fit in the shop that goes right yeah, here so eventually. Get, like, some tractor supply, like buckets and put it over the top of it. Uh, that and you can park underneath the little covered garage so because there's turbo sticking out the hood uh if it rains like really rains and water gets inside there your shit that. might blow up that's okay we won't be driving in the rain yeah i mean it's not just like pick I something have... else i hope it starts that'd be kind of nice i want to hear it it's been, <laughs> it's been in florida like beautiful weather for the past forever i'd imagine it's not gonna light the cold very much it's been this cold. okay you can't see your breath but it's cold i'm from chicago and i'm complaining that it's cold outside you know it's cold outside god damn those are some pretty ass turbos. Whose idea was it to make everything red? Good idea. High five. You actually can build trucks. Everybody talks crap, but they forget that I had this truck. Actually, I forget that you have this truck sometimes. Are we good to go? Yeah, oh, God. Uh, when you turn the key, like, do it like a diesel. You're the coolest. Oh, I know. You literally have the coolest Silverado ever. This yeah. body style? 100%. You got the oh, game on I got lock. the game on lock. All right, you got to go.
I do. See you, bye. As my filmer arrives, Abby has to go get her filmer, low from photography from the airport, but I get the driver in truck. <laughs> Never in my life did I think we'd have so many Chevys in my driveway. A one, two, and then down in the garage, there's a freaking Camaro. What is going on? Not allowed, and I actually really like that one. And this one. Oh, it's warm now. It ain't smoking white no more. <laughs> oh my crazy. What a setup. <laughs> Lamborghini. It's a Lambo. High country twin turbo Lamborghini. On 28s and 40s too. That thing is so nasty. Why do I actually like it? Like a lot. I hate to say it, me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> when we were talking about this, like she had this idea. Well, she was like, I want to make it fast. Like I want to make a drag truck out of it. And I was like, it's fucking ginormous. And it literally has Lambo doors. Really pointless. And then I was like, wait, that's kind of like what we do is do absolutely pointless shit. Do twin turbos out the hood. And then we did it. Six months later. Abby corn. <laughs> the Abby corn. <laughs> Fancy corn. All of the above. Put in. Neutral, all in the brake. <laughs> oh my god! Bro, what the fuck? That was that fucking was huge. huge! What the fuck? The biggest RA, literally! I'm actually in shock right now. That's Kyle, I, I fucking love you. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Bro, this does not feel like you're driving the same truck. Before it was just a boring 1500 with Lambo doors. Jesus. Bro, she's doing so good. She's got a freaking frame off Ford now and a twin turbo freaking 1500 with turbo sticking out the hood. If that's not winning, I don't know what is. So now we have a pretty cool driveway. I don't know what is better. <laughs> Lamborghini Silverado that shoots flames. And we got an R8 that shoots flames. We should have a flame shooting contest. That shot some big ass fucking flames. I was not expecting that at all. Well, I guess I'm gonna wait for everybody to get back home, probably wash it up. We can film a cinematic masterpiece of this, showcasing all of it. We gotta take this thing for a test drive because it's on six or seven pounds of boost, I think. Kyle said it runs really, really, really good at that boost. It's very safe still. I'll explain all the modifications that we did. It's a pretty simple build. See what this thing is all about. It's Kyle Hurt, guys. I mean, he literally has twin turbos as headlights on his fucking 1400 horsepower Camaro. He knows how to party. So I have very high expectations for fancy. Well, I couldn't resist. I'm driving it. Actually, I think I'm going to go grab George from the airport. Abby's having some technical difficulties. Bro, this thing sounds so nasty. Just like the view is insane. It does not feel like any truck I've ever driven before. Like cow hoods are cool, but turbos sticking out of the hood? What? We're back. Uh, why are we not driving the Silverado anymore? Abby, why are we not driving your truck anymore? Because you decided to not drive. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I really made it like a mile down the road. Abby said to meet her at CVS. We're driving over here and uh, it decided to just stop doing anything. So. Again. It sounds good though. Let's see if it'll go here. Help us. Oh, yeah, LOL. Uh, yeah. My brain hurts. Sad pony. Sad pony. But yeah. it is what it is. We'll get it fixed. No point in crying about it. Luckily, he only made it like 30 minutes down the road. So I was like, hey, yo, buddy, turn back around. Come back. Come back. We need your big green trailer. Well, it, I can't say it doesn't move. So it's not a shaft or anything like that. But if you put it in reverse, got about 10 feet of rollage before it doesn't do anything anymore. It's pretty though. It looks nice. Yeah. Look at that pearl. Wow. 
Wow. And it sounds amazing. It was really fun to drive. I'm actually kind of mad that I didn't record driving it on the way to meet you because I was having a blast. Didn't really beat on it though. Didn't do any burnouts yet. Did like half throttle pull, one half throttle pull. So there's kind of no reason for the trans that's freshly built by the way to uh, be taking a shit. But Kyle didn't build the trans. Kyle's trans builder built the trans. And I already talked to him. He's gonna take care of it. Shut up. Well, there she goes. Back to Mikasa. Man, that's what a bummer. But I'm not surprised for some reason. Just because, you know, I have like a, a great track record with uh, breaking vehicles during the reveal. But for once, it's not mine. Well, you had a daily driver for like three seconds. Yeah, I know. And my filmer's stuck at the airport. I'm trying to get him here. <laughs> <laughs> like, mind you, the whole reason why the truck even went down there is because where were you driving yeah you were driving back to georgia and then the truck just completely stopped moving just like it did so we brought it down to florida because kyle is like the master of ls's we were thinking about throwing like a cam in it or something while the transmission was getting built and then the turbos and everything turned out amazing motor sounds perfect shoots massive flames just like we wanted and then the fucking transmission doesn't even work it worked for a bit they had to street tune that truck while down in florida so it has miles on it it has full throttle pulls on it i barely got into it driving the cvs now it doesn't move <laughs> just another gfp side quest so uh uh, we may or may not have a working Silverado with twin turbos. One sec, we're gonna figure out if it moves. Yesterday it moved, like you'd start it, it'd roll for like 10 feet and then stop. But her filmer's here. So she kind of wants to film a YouTube video. So we're gonna roll it like into the middle of the field so then she can, uh, you know, recoup her uh, investment a little bit by uh, making money off YouTube. Go follow her YouTube channel, by the way. ever gonna go until we get the trans back. Big YouTuber girl, huh? No, I suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was easy, huh? Well, we have a kind of a little bit of practice. We have like 400 videos out. Yeah, no, no third. third. It's probably gonna get more views than mine, though, let's be honest. Mine? <laughs> yeah, probably. No, I'm just like... Abby, you have, have a, you have a twin turbo Lamborghini Silverado with turbos sticking out of the hood. It's it's gonna get views. No, How much you want for it? No, listen, I don't want to hear y'all say crap at all. I built that one, okay? Well, that one is built, I not mean, bought. So, I mean, Kyle built it, but. No, uh uh. I bought that one stock from the dealership, like baby truck, baby, baby truck, and built that thing. And then Helen built it, and then Kyle built it. it. It counts. It literally counts. No, no, no. If you don't literally handcraft the metal for the lift in the garage and then put it on yourself, it doesn't count. If you don't do it, go fucking mine the metal. You, no. If you don't install your rough country lift yourself in your own garage and take three months to do it, and then it fall apart whenever it's finished, you didn't build it. it sounds so nasty in the background. It does sound it's, good. It's, it's a nasty ass truck. Oh shit, Lamborghini! <laughs> hey, you have a really cool truck. I smell uh, corn. Is that on E85? Fuck no. No, 93. Really? Yeah. There was only one gas station, remember? So I don't really want you to have to. We tried to make this as like nice Practical. and daily drivable as that's possible. Could. I don't yeah. think that's a thing. Yeah, it is. It's just that you can totally daily drive a 12 inch lifted squatted Lamborghini. Um, it's twin 14 turbo. and 13 in the back. It is definitely uh, uh, negative uh, three uh, in the back and it's, 20 no. in the front. Bro, that bitch is leaning hard as Why don't you put this thing on bags? What was your excuse? Oh, wait, there's leaf on springs on the back. That's why it's squatting. That's what mm. you always said. That's not what I said. I said you there's would, blocks in the front. No, he said there was literal leaf springs in the bed. That's why. Squatted. First, oh, from the shot. Yes, that's what the shots are talking about. That there's stuff in the bed, and that's why the truck squats. And I was like, it's a truck, Abby. It's that's not gonna do anything. That's what's in that's what's in the bed that makes the truck squat four inches lower in the back than it does. It has a good yeti cooler though. I'm not it gonna does lie. Have, and it has coilovers for her first gen that we literally can't start until those are there. So she probably send those to Cole. Shout out to Cole. Uh it's def no, it's a Red Bull can. Yep. The Red Very Bull heavy. can that is that's why. That weighs at least twenty negative pounds. three ounces. <laughs> can, I, can I give a rundown of your truck? It's weird. I don't want to interfere with you. Okay. So what we got here, this is fancy. You can tell that it's fancy just because it is. Abby! Yeah. Why do you call it fancy? 
know what in it what the Rebu mech guitar if, if it's not young Dolph, i probably haven't heard about it uh, on the outside basically it's just a 14 inch cognito 28s and 40s it's it's actually a pretty badass truck and then you added lambo doors and it's a high country it has a beautiful high country interior which has grown to be one of my favorite gm interiors ever. ruby interior ruby interior so under the hood of this monstrosity is a 5.3 semi built it's got a cam i think head studs like just a mild built 5.3 and then we got twin 69 millimeter turbos whole bunch of custom piping thanks to <laughs> he put camaro kyle on the block that's valve. pretty hard and you can see uh she wanted the turbos to stick out of the fucking hood and after the turbo sticks out kind of like that that hoonikin car you know that guy ken, ken, ken block. block yeah the most famous drifter in the world probably he the died. most famous car guy in the world you can't see but it's cool and then kyle camaro kyle down in florida he built probably the nastiest exhaust i've ever seen look down at, can you see the headers on that side you sure can so the headers go down and then swoop around and come back up to the hot side of the turbo you see the exhaust right there holy damn that's just custom with a k camaro <laughs> kyle you did an amazing job so this truck is like 99 percent okay well 96.7 percent perfect the wrap's a little dirty because it's been sitting outside for the past like six months which is fine no big deal we'll just rewrap it big problem the motherfucker don't move at all it sounds really good but didn't go anywhere basically last night i took it for a test drive impulsively shouldn't have done that drove it down the road made it like a mile down the road didn't even get to do like a full throttle pull or anything did like half throttle one time and roll up to the cvs where this little girl was and uh the truck just stopped moving completely we also noticed a tiny bit of an oil leak coming from the trans so we have to send it back not the whole truck the trans just the trans are you recording yeah that's some like spy shit right I, there no i'm dead ass i'm stealing the content <laughs> we are going to get the trans taken out tomorrow because i don't want to haul the whole truck down to florida i'm due for a vacation anyway you got to go on vacation last weekend so i get to go on a vacation this weekend it's only fair what is it, a 6 l80 i think it is it's actually a really nice trans you paid really good money for it to be built so the guy that built it you know going to fix the trans for nothing so that's good so all we gotta do is just get it down there going to get the trans rebuilt freshly rebuilt 100 percent rebuilt bring it back throw the trans in it and then we will do a formal reveal on the whole truck sound like plan yeah i want to do some pulls and burnouts when and, it gets back and then you blow up the trans again and, we'll and, go then, back down the and then i'll go back down there and i'll get it replaced again that would just be a weekly thing and um maybe a truck yeah i might also have bought something in my brain if i drive down to florida and i don't buy something it yeah. it's boy math if i spend a hundred thousand dollars going math. down there and i didn't have to pay shipping on a trans it's a wash makes yeah i think sense. that's fair yeah it makes sense does it make sense to you yeah i guess so oh fuck it everybody approves